So when I did, if you guys remember, the people that watched, I think about two videos ago, we did basically a video on how to remove green slime algae or known as blue green, blue green slime algae. Same thing, um, just different names. And it was kind of just a how-to. Um, and honestly, I, was, I mean, the video, I probably said it, that I've actually never even tested this. So I basically just showed how to remove it without actually, like, any results. So I was basically just, like, not really false information, but you don't really know if it worked or not. So this is what I'm going to do the review now. And I can tell you now, there's definitely good results. So, if you don't know what this product is, it's, you know, if you don't know what green slime algae is, it's basically just an algae, but it looks like slime. And, um, I still got a little bit, so I guess I can show you guys. See that green? And then see kind of that line? Let's see, right? See that kind of like, like that line just like moving up and down? That That's still a little bit of green, um, green slime. But, let me tell you, when we first dosed this in the video... I dose, you know, the normal amount, and I actually said in the video that it could mess with your levels, meaning like ammonia and nitrates, and mess maybe your your biologi biological filtration a little bit. It, ha it has those risk, and except I have an Amazon puffer, which is very hard to keep, um, you know, tank wise, you know, parameter wise. It's very, it's so sensitive, any puffer is sensitive, because you don't, you know, they're a skinless fish, or, you know, they're a skin fish, not scales, so they're prone to diseases, like, you have the tiny bit of ammonia, and this thing just goes crazy, um, and I have experienced that a couple times now, and it's not fun, but, so if you have, um, very sensitive fish like I do, I wouldn't recommend, um, I will still use this product because there's nothing really else you could do with green slime algae, but dose half. Don't dose the full amount because if you, if you do dose the full amount, your fish is going to do some crazy stuff and it's going to freak out and it's going to look like it's having a spasm, about to die. I mean, I've seen it all with ammonia spikes with this fish and just don't risk it. So just dose half and see what happens then. And then you can kind of um, think of the possible solutions of what you can do if it still doesn't work. But if you have regular fish that can, you know, sustain different parameters if it moves around a little bit, yeah, go ahead and dose the full amount. You're perfectly fine. But for me, I dosed the full amount, and all the ammonia levels spiked. And so I did a 50% water change about right here. And... You know, I thought I, I thought I basically removed all this, so I was like, that was kind of pointless. But it actually, a lot of it actually stayed in the. T well, I I don't know how much exactly, but um, obviously st some was still in the tank. Not not every single bit of it got removed. Um, but the, the 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 however amount stayed in there actually did work, and there's clear results of it because there's no more green slime algae whatsoever in this tank. It's all gone. I mean, obviously the few spots, but you know, it didn't get full. It didn't get around to everything. But one great example is this Anubis P right here. If you look at the videos, this thing was covered in brown algae, green slime algae. It was covered in ADA dust. You couldn't even. This plant wasn't even green anymore. It was like, like you see how you see how brown these are right here. This is just ADA dust kicked up on the plants. It's nothing. You know, it's. It's not like algae or anything. It just it's just like that because it, dust gets kicked up. Once I have this whole tank um, covered in Monte Carlo, this won't be a problem. But for now, it's just kind of how what we have to deal with. Same with back here and over here. But see how clean this? I've never seen this Anubia it's this clean since I've got it in this tank. And you can see how bright and green and healthy it looks now. It, it didn't look like this two days ago. I can tell you that. So that's how I that's how I really know it worked well because it literally just cleaned this entire Anubias off, and now it looks amazing. And so so this back here worked too. Obviously the ADA dust is still on there, but look how green all this is. That, that all this had green slime algae, and now it's you know most of it's green now. Um, 
this this didn't even have really green slime algae the little bit that was on there is basically gone so still 88 dust all over it though and now that that's gone look at look at the carpet the carpet's coming back it's actually grown this it's only been two days the carpet's finally starting to pop back out so definitely the best green slime algae on the planet um you need this stuff. There's no question about it. I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really expect this stuff to work that fast. I mean, people were talking about how fast it works. Once you try it out, you'll you'll be so surprised how fast this stuff gets removed. And it's and it's honestly the best product I've ever used. Um, a product that I'm definitely going to be carrying around f forever now. So, you know, right here, look it up on Amazon. Um, really, you can look it up anywhere. It's for a box like this, it's about 10 bucks, maybe more depending on where you get it. But definitely check this out, it definitely works. It, it's not gonna fail on you. I'm telling you now, this is the greatest buy you'll ever get. Have especially if you have green sum algae, it's the greatest thing you'll ever have. Um, but other than that, once you remove it and it all dies off, keep doing your water changes weekly and maintenance weekly and you should be good and you shouldn't have to ever see green sun algae again you know just fix your problem once like i did and you'll be good to go but other than that i'll see you guys